What are you doing? I know what you're doing. What's what's the most important dimension that we all have to remember these days? Uh, two metres. Two metres. And is that what you're cutting here, isn't it? I'm cutting two metres of uh, corduroy. Two metres of corduroy. Oh. Well, jumbo cord, actually. What? I, I thought we made jeans. We're making we're corduroy... We're making corduroy jeans, are we? No. no. We're not making corduroy jeans. We're making an overshirt. Well, we're not going to make yeah, it. That's we're going to get somebody who's really good at making shirts to make our corduroy overshirt. We've got quite a lot of, of, of corduroy it, there. It doesn't I'm going to keep away from him. Oh, by the way, thanks to uh, Carrie Carrie. This is what we're listening to right now. This came in the post for Ed. So you got a lot of corduroy that turned up the other day. These are the original shears of Train of the Town. They're a vintage piece. Probably even older than me. <laughs> so we've got a two metre piece here. It takes a metre and a half of this cord to make a shirt like this. So we're, we're going to have a shirt like this, but we've got to go through the process. First, get somebody to sample it, uh, make their pattern, grade their pattern. We approve it, then we go into production. We make lots of shirts and then I'm not going to cut all the shirts, so don't worry, they're not going to be rubbish. Uh, we've got lots of denim here. Do you want to just, there you are, here, you, you take that. There you go. This is, um, this is a six, six ounce denim, uh, which is for shirting. It's a... Uh, is it sell, it's not selvage, that? This is not, this is full width. So you can see here the difference, this is interesting if you're into denim and stuff, you can see these two rolls are selvage, so it's narrow loom. Um, and, you know, they've got that distinctive edge on, which you see on our Governor Selvage jeans, like I'm wearing. Um, the shirt that we previously made was selvage. Uh, if we have a look here, I'm wearing it. And you can see that's the selvage there. You can also then get full width, which this is. So you see, it's double, so. And that'll mean that our 2XL, it'll be a little bit bigger, won't it? We'll be able to make a giant shirt. We couldn't make it any bigger than we did. So this, this is a really nice, it's, you can see it's got black and um, ecru in it. So it's going to come as a kind of uh, black grey coloured shirt. So we've got loads of that. We've got lots of selvage. Who'd like to see a tapered uh, indigo selvage pair of jeans? That would be nice, wouldn't it? Probably quite a few people. <laughs> and then also down here, We've got more selvage. This is, uh, this is a recycled selvage from Candiani, a little bit lighter, like an uh, 11 ounce. And the idea with that is at the moment, we're having a slim fit uh, pair of jeans, 100% cotton, so there's no stretch. So you're not gonna look like a bag of cheap mince wrapped in cling film, because we don't like that, do we? So it's going to be a nice slim fit pair of jeans. I don't know if we've showed those to anybody yet, but um, we're not going to make dungarees, no. And we're not going to make, we're not going to make women's um, trousers, sorry. Uh, we're going to make this, a, la a lady's head <laughs> scarf. Look at that. <laughs> so this is, a, this is a product that we've had for about two years and uh, it's just not been the right time to do anything with it. So it, it's an incredible design. Heb you can see, Tro it says Heb Troco <laughs> in the middle. Now, the, 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 the artist, Drew Millward, uh, we met him one day in the pub and his brief was, it's got to involve choppers, as in motorcycles, and be psychedelic as fuck. And you can see that he definitely stuck to the design brief so we've got, you can see we've got a wheel here. We've got some little handlebars here. Uh, we've got the Hebtro Co. Uh, very, very, logo. very psychedelic logo. <laughs> That's very hard to read. There's all kinds of eyeballs, uh, you know, which you, you probably, if you, if you know anything about psychedelic art, there's a lot of eyeball stuff in there. There's a lot of kind of genital stuff as well, which is, I find pretty appealing. And look here, what does that say? That says ride, and that says fast. And that says ride, and that says fast. So, a bit of a vanity project for, for me. The whole to, thing's to a vanity project, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> but how could you wear this? In what different ways could you wear this? So, 
You could wear it, look at that, like a, a, like a sort of hat tied on your head. Uh, bandana, it's a bandana, but it's a really big bandana. So I'm going to just show you, I've got one on and that's as a neck scarf for when I ride my motorbike, it's really good. Or it'll go dub all the way around twice. Uh, Brant here is demonstrating. It's not a face mask. This is how he goes. This is how he goes to the post office when, when everything's going bad and we need some extra cash flow. So there we go. And and this so this this scarf. I've that now, I? It's not silk. It's made of cotton. Pima, uh, Pima, US. Pima. Pima cotton, uh, but it's got a silky handle to it. I would say. It's a, a robust garment. Washes nicely. Digitally printed, in manufacture right now, right here in the UK. Made in the UK, where we still make things, thank goodness. And uh, what, uh, how much is it going to be? Is the camera on me or you? It's on you. All oh, right, okay. It's <laughs> on you. How much is it going to cost? I think this what do you be the um, same price as our woolly hat, so yeah, 35 quid. 35 quid. Um, that's and, that's uh, pretty good. That's, that's rather good. Pretty good value, yeah. Because so, um, I've been... Uh, I've been wearing the, uh, the the original sample, which was in silk, and and also <laughs> one in cotton. Well, so basically, I've been walking around with a 700 quid uh, scarf around my neck for the last two years because of the cost of the the artwork finally, and yeah. the sampling. Got, and, uh, finally, we found somewhere was now. somewhere because it's got a nice hemmed edge, and that's what we didn't get from our original sample. Are you into bartering? No. Uh, bartering, what does it say? We have a postcard actually up on the wall that says something like, no haggling, please, we're British. I think it says, is it? let's see. No haggling, please, we're British, thank you very much. So, have we got anything else to say? No. No? Oh, oh we, got some, we got some nice stuff in our unit. This is, this is a company that used to be in Hebden Bridge. Now, long since gone called Hebden Cord and they made lovely garments for plucky outdoors people who liked riding on horses and shooting things going to the office and going on a hike smoking a lovely pipe people still like smoking pipes in Hebden Bridge these days there you go shooting breaks no we're not going to make those Jane in her riding outfit no we're not going to make those uh, whatever that is, climbing britches. No, we're not going to make those. And we're not going to do anything to do with cycling, shooting. Look at that. <laughs> we're not going to do that. Whipping, whipping costumes. Well, maybe we could do some of that. Uh, anyway, that was a great place, but it's now gone. They would have, they would have made uh, corduroy trousers out of these, very wide. Well, leather trousers like Jim Morrison, please. Yeah, well, I've got some of those. I'll send you some photos. Thanks very much, everybody. I hope you're all well out there. Uh, stay happy, smiling. There's Brandt waving too. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>